That was me shooting the Smith & Wesson 642. The cartridge I was shooting is this guy here. This is Winchester PDX-1 38 Special Plus P 130 grain bonded jacketed hollow point. It has a nickel plated shell casing here and a bonded bullet which will help with jacket separation. About seven months ago, eight, actually a little bit longer, back in December, um, these were everywhere in almost every caliber it seemed. Picked up a box, came home, watched some testing on some other channels here. Results weren't very favorable, so I kind of put this in my safe in the box of forgotten ammo and forgot about it. Cleaning out the safe, I stumbled upon it again and thought I would do some testing on it. I ran it through a chronograph. The average was 842 feet per second. It translates to a muzzle energy of 205 foot-pounds. Winchester advertises 908 feet per second with a muzzle energy of 238 foot-pounds. Let's take this out, shoot it through some ballistics gel. The gun I'm going to be using today is the Smith & Wesson 642. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, results were better than expected. The results I saw in other testing was over penetration and no expansion due to the tip being clogged with denim. So here you can see where it enters the track. Just give you a quick overview of the track before we throw the ruler on it. You another image here. Okay, so let's take a look here of the ruler on top. So you can see at the one inch mark, you start to get a little expansion. You, this cavity starts to form. This runs from one inch all the way down to eight and a half inches. So you're getting seven and a half inches of this large cavity here. At its widest point is right about there, which is measuring just about one and three quarters inches at its widest point. Come down here, you can see the bullet penetrates just about 15 inches, not too bad. Also taking a look here, you can see these large denim deposits, which you kind of expect as well. So let's cut this cavity open, let's take a closer look, and we'll get a final bullet weight and expansion numbers for you. Okay, so let's take a look here, I did a cross section. So you can see it's a long and flat wound channel here. So just ripped and teared really vertically and to the left and right and not horizontally. It didn't tumble. Um, when the bullet stretched out, you can see a little bit of the cuts in there, but it went even a little bit deeper when it ex expelled some of that energy. Almost looks like a bird flying. Here's also the cross section again. So I took this, cut it in half. Kind of see how deep those wound channels are. Do a close up here. Again, let's take a look. So not too bad. Here is the bullet. Not too bad looking. Let's get a weight. 129.6 grains. Okay, let's get a measurement. I got the largest point is 0.613 inches. I had an average of 0.601 inches. My final thoughts on this round are very surprising actually. After watching other tests, I don't think I gave this round a fair chance. Initially, I didn't think it was going to expand. I thought I was going to over penetrate, and it didn't do either of those things. We had 15 inches of penetration, which I think is more than adequate without over penetration. Expansion was good through the four layers of denim, and recoil is very manageable. Truthfully, I really like this round right now, and if I can find more, I would definitely pick it up to carry in any of my 38s. So, that's the Winchester PDX-1 38 Special Plus P 130 grain bonded jacketed hollow point. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. There's lots more ammo testing coming in the future. If you don't like the video, comment and tell me why. Thanks again.